What is up, Tank fans? Today we're going to be making something very cool. Uh, the world's most powerful bow fishing laser sight. Let's get right into it. To give you some background on laser bow fishing sights, this is what you would typically find when you Google it. A Light Strike 2.0. Mine I have taken out and disassembled already. Um, and this is a problem if you really wanted to use it for two reasons. It's one, you can't see it in the daytime like they claim. And two, there isn't really a visible beam shooting in the water and it's hardly even visible at all using bright carp lights like you would typically use on a boat for everyday carp fishing use. So the reason for that is they can only sell you a 5 milliwatt laser diode in this for the um, regulations or whatever. Now I'm going to build my own here and like all things this is not a toy this is a tool it's kind of treat it like a firearm like for this application it will only be pointed into the water down range if you would at something I'm shooting at please do not build one of these and point at people or point it up in the sky um, that can get you into issues okay we're gonna do the five milliwatt test outside the body just because I've already had this deconstructed. So we're gonna try to shine the light, hold it on there. So that's the light right there. That's maximum. Okay, it just fell apart. Okay, so now that we've shown you the before for the 5 milliwatt laser, let's open up the package coming all the way from, actually the label is covered up on this so I can't see where it's from, but it's from China somewhere. So let's open it up. I'm just going to open it off the screen a little bit, just not sharing my address to the internet. Okay, it's in bubble wrap here. There's nothing left in that. So we'll just kind of open that up very carefully. See what we're working with here. Okay, it says 532NM, that's the color, 100 milliwatt, 3 to 3.7 volts on this written in Sharpie, it looks like. Um, these ones are a little different. They come with wires already on. So, I'll have to open the package. I did order two, just in case one would break. Okay. So this is what we got, the 100 milliwatt green laser diode, the same color, just uh, 20 times brighter, should be. Let me hook it on here and give it a little test. Okay, did you see that? Wow. So it does work. Um, we're going to have to probably cut those wires off and see... Hopefully if it retrofits right into this thing. So let me build that real quick and we'll just put on a little time lapse. Uh, 
Now what you're seeing there is me putting it together as I showed you and then just kind of testing it out because it didn't seem bright. But check out this. Check this out. I'm going to shine the laser across. Check that out. There is a visible beam now. Look at how bright that laser is. I'm just going to time lapse putting the rest of it on, the caps and everything, and get it ready. And then it will be time to test it out in the water. I'm so excited. should be fully ready now and here's the light I, you know that's pretty darn bright I don't know if I can um, you know compare to I mean this is bright we have bright light just like before when I showed you the 5 milliwatt so let me show you this laser in the same exact spot as the last one alright here's the laser 100 milliwatt same location. There's the beam on the table. There's on the floor. Um, the room is fairly bright and I can see that beam. Here's this. Now I've heard that with thin enough paper, maybe like toilet paper, that one of these lasers can burn it. So let's see if that's true. All right, I just want to show you real quickly. Here's the laser again. I turned most of the lights off except for one real dim one in the corner and I'm going to show you the beam now. Put the laser here. Look at that. Solid beam. Camera's having trouble focusing, it's bright. But yeah, that that's a bright laser and that's, that's probably going to get daytime visibility. Okay, we're just going to try that on there. I think it was a match, rather. I didn't find a match, but I found something better. This, this is magnesium shavings, which are highly flammable. They burn really hot. I'll just pour a little bit on this already stained portion of the driveway. Okay, it's not working, but you know what? I'll go get a match and we'll explode that anyways. That's what it should have looked like. I have had a headache with this for about an hour and a half. And I finally realized what it was on the laser here. This is actually a pressable button if you can hear that and so I don't know what happened but maybe on the first one somehow the button was depressing or something and I I don't know what happened but basically I've put a bypass now and now it's working so I just wanted to show you that and now I can put it together and I think I will be good from now on. I won't be able to test it tonight. Um, it got too late or whatever. I was working on this too long and I have to wake up tomorrow. But we'll get in on a different night and we'll see how cool this is. Well, I can see the light pretty good, eh? Look at that. Is the camera showing that? Yeah. Yeah, look at that. That's real good. Isn't that a fish right there? Nothing. I should have oh. aimed a little better. Oh, 
Estoy cagado. No. It was close. I don't know. Oh no? Uh -huh. You said I sucked. 